Hi, I'm Matt with Pinecard.com and welcome back to Design for Speed. We're in the middle of our four part series on perfected speed tips for winning pine car derby races and we're about to get into part two where we're going to turn our focus to reducing friction on your axles. Now if you haven't seen part one, go back and check it out. Great video. We gave you some great tips on picking out uh, aerodynamic car for the track. We talked about the importance of center of gravity. Uh, this particular car, we weighed out the car properly, put on a basic wheel and axle kit, ran the car. car did great, but we should have any problem beating that time when we're done with our axles today. This is a very important step on building a fast car, so let's get to it. We're going to be using our Pine Car Micro Polishing System. In that kit, you're going to find it's going to have a nice file, magnifying glass, several sheets of sandpaper, and that should allow us to get these axles to a mirror finish, which is going to pick up a ton of speed on that track. Now the first thing you want to focus on is the actual tip of the axle. It's going to have a lot of sharp edges on it. Uh, when you slide this axle through the hub of the wheel, uh, you take that potential of scratching up the inside of that hub, which is going to slow you down a lot on the track. So take the time to get those all smoothed out. Simply grab the file inside the kit and just grind them away. You don't want to take off too much metal off the nail itself. You just want to get the sharp edges off. Uh, just use your finger and hand. You'll be able to tell when they're all smoothed off. and do all four at the same time so you don't leave any behind. Okay, that one feels pretty good. Now once you get the tips where you want them, go ahead and turn your focus to the actual head of the axle where you're gonna find due to the molding process, there's a lot of burrs underneath there, a lot of scratches, and again, we wanna use this file to help remove all of them. If you have a lot of uh, friction right in that area, it's gonna slow the car down by rubbing on the exterior of the hub. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use a household drill clamped into a vise I'm going to stick the point of each axle into the chuck itself, leave about three-eighths of an inch or so hanging out, and again, use the flat part of your file and get up under there and just grind that all off, okay? Don't push too hard on the axle, you'll be bending the axle. Let the file do the work. So I'm going to show you how to take care of that. That looks much better. Remove those big burrs, the heavy scratches. If you can see that at all, there's a stock axle there. Right there alone is going to pick up quite a bit of speed on the track. So definitely take the time to do that on all four axles. Now the next step we're going to do is we're actually going to chamfer the head of the axle. What that means to you, we're basically going to roll back that axle head or bevel it off a little bit. That's going to reduce the contact point between the axle head and the outside of your wheel hub. And right there alone, again, we're going to pick up little increments of speed on the track. So take the time to do this as well. Let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the file, I'm actually going to roll that back. Just roll your file on the head of that axle. Don't apply too much pressure to the axle where you're going to bend it, let the file do the work, but just roll that off a little bit. Here we go. Alright, that looks good as well. We have the axle head all beveled off. That's going to pick up quite a bit of speed and reduce a lot of friction in that area. And again, compared to a new one, you can see the difference. Alright, now the next step is going to be what we call notching out the axle. And basically what we're doing is we're going to be making a few marks on this axle, using our file to notch out that. That's going to reduce a lot of friction between your wheel hub and the axle shank itself. Now make sure your rule book will allow this tip. This is a great tip. It's going to pick up a lot of speed in your car, but again, we don't want you on the sidelines. So take the time to check out your local rule book. Now how I'm going to do this is very simple. I'm going to take a simple rule here, magic marker. You basically want to go from an eighth of an inch from your axle head inwards, make a mark. And then from that mark, I'm going to do an additional eighth of an inch, which happens to be the width of my file which is going to make it real easy for me to set the file on the back side of that axle and let the file do the work. Let the file notch out the axle shank itself. Do not put too much pressure on there or try to bend the axle. Just let the file do the work. I'm going to speed this up a little bit because it takes a little bit of time, so bear with me. All right, that looks real good here. As you can see, again, we have an eighth inch notch all notched out on that axle shank. 
we're going to pick up a lot of speed underneath that from not having the friction inside that wheel hub. Now the next step, we're going to get away from shaping this axle. We're actually going to start talking about polishing this axle. We want this thing as like a mirror finish. We don't want any friction at all underneath that wheel hub. Now how we're going to do that is that we're still using the pine car micro polishing system. We're going to start with our coarse grade like a 400. We're going to work all the way through a 2000 grit sandpaper and get this thing as smooth as we possibly can. Now I went ahead and cut mine up into strips, put the number of the course on the back of it so I don't get confused. I'm also going to use a little water to keep everything neat and clean and cool and we'll just go through it, so bear with me. Oh, another tip, uh, don't forget to check out your uh, axle in between course papers. Use your magnifying glass we provide with the kit to make sure you're not missing out on anything. If you see a scratch or a nick, go ahead and take the time to get that out before moving forward. So here we go. Alright, that looks pretty good for the 400 grit and I'm going to go ahead and inspect it. Everything's smoothing out real nice. Now definitely take the time, uh, about 15 seconds on your 400. Pick that up a little bit, maybe 5 seconds per course. So when you get to the 2000, take your time. That'll be the last stage and really get it polished out well. I'm going to go ahead and jump up to a 600 course paper. Go ahead and get that wet as well. And we'll continue on. I think that looks really good. We actually taken that all the way through our courses, took a little bit of time, but we ended up with our 2000 grit sandpaper and we got just a fantastic finish on these axles. I think already we've reduced the friction on these axles considerably, but we're actually going to take it one step further. We're going to get into our pine car diamond finishing kit and in that kit we're going to be provided with a uh, lint free cloth. We're going to have some brushes that we're actually going to use a little bit later on some of our wheels. And with that, we're going to be using our Pine Car Diamond Finishing Compound. Now this compound is equivalent to an 8,000 grit polishing cloth. So if we ended up with our 2,000 grit, you can see the level we're going to. This is going to be about as good as a finish you can possibly get on these axles. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking to build some speed and this is where we're going to achieve it at. So what we're going to do is we're actually just going to squirt a little bit of that right out of the tube, right onto the center of a strip of cloth. And once you get it where you want it, you're going to treat that just like a piece of sandpaper, just like we did prior. Now we're going to go ahead and get these all the way through the axles, get them all cleaned up and polished. And then when I'm complete, I'm actually going to wash all these axles. We want to make sure we get all that compound and residue off the axle so we don't cause friction instead of removing it. So let me show you what we're talking about. I think that's about as good as we're going to get. We've taken it all the way through our sandpaper stages and we just got done with our diamond finishing kit and it just looks fantastic. The last important step is to actually wash these axles off, wash all four of them real well in just a little bit of soapy water and then rinse them off. We want to make sure we don't leave any residue or any of that compound left on the axles causing you to slow down instead of speeding up. So let me dry this off real quick and I'll show you the before and after. And once I'm complete with that, we're actually going to reinstall those back on the car, put the stock wheels back on the car, give it one more run down the track, and I think you're going to be impressed on what we've done with these axles. So let me show you here. It's just a night and day difference, and I tell you, you will definitely notice it on the track. All right, so let's go run this car and let's see what kind of time we shaved off just by working on these axles. All right, here we are back up at the Pine Car Test Track. We're gonna go ahead and run our car for the second time. Now, if you remember the first video, we ran the car. Car ran out real well with stock wheels and axles on it. We've taken some time to polish up these axles and get them dialed in. And I think we're, we're gonna run a pretty good time here. So let's find out. That was a 
a fantastic run on the car. Looks like the time we spent on our axles has definitely paid off. Now in part three, we're gonna shave even more time just by simply reducing the friction on our wheels. So stay tuned.